Michelle. Uh, some guy called you about a flat you're interested in. Oh, really? You didn't tell me you're buying a flat. I'm thinking of buying a flat. Well, where is it? Finchley. <laughs> Finchley? I'm, that's miles away. From what? Well, from me, of course. It's 15 minutes away by tube. I'm getting the hang of the tube now. Um. Declan, the bank aren't going to keep subsidizing me in a hotel forever. And besides, I've never had a place of my own. No, Finchley, I mean, people go there to die. Nonsense. It's a very nice place. If you like, I'll show it to you. Well, uh, so, you are going to buy it, then? I'm going to have a look at it again, yes. But now I'm going to see Leonard. They want to arrange an issue of 300 million. Seven-year bonds, ECU's fixed rate. Mm -hmm. The thing is that they want it in five days. They're trying to buy up a major chunk of the BAX chemical core and they need the liquidity. 300 million, that's a hefty exposure. You need to start looking at a syndicate right away. I've started to. I think we ought to go for a large group. Get in a few of the smaller European houses. Make it more attractive to small investors. How did you get on with Joaquin? Very well. He brought that company up from the bottom of the league. Yes. Do you reckon we'll get the mandate? Depends what kind of figures we can show them. Well, I'll give the details to Wendy straight away. I'd like you to handle it. What? Really, Leonard, I've never... I know. That's why you're going to handle it. You better start talking up a syndicate right away. We're looking at an issue for a pharmaceutical company based in the Netherlands. It's a good size, double-A rated ECU's maturity 1996. How would you like to manage 25 million? 20 then. Great. Maturity 1996, double-A rated ECU's. The thing is, Daniela, we need to be in position by the 12. Would you be interested? Great. Come on, Hector, take 50 million. It's you and me against the world, like in the old days. You're really cooking over there. I'm trying to work up a syndicate for the Avro Europe. Then it's giving me responsibility for the deal. Really? That's wonderful. That's, a, well, that's great. Listen, I, I need to talk to you. Could we have dinner tonight? I have to see the flat again. OK, well, how about... And I, right I, now I have to see Max. Hudson, where's Max? I don't know. Out. He's supposed to be with a client, but I can't find him. Is he coming back? Well, I hope so. We're trying to tie something up here. Me too. Square Jupiter makes for a bear market. Your client will be well advised to wait until the 6th. The client's pressing to put this one to bed. What's going to be different after the 6th? By noon on the 6th, the square will be separating. The prospects for a swap involving these parties after that date is well expected. It's been a difficult position. What's new on the secondary market? Ooh, bad day. Well, what can you do about it? I found this wonderful bar. They serve lemon vodka, chilled. That's what I can do about it. Max, I've been waiting for you. We have to get back to Pia tonight, remember? You know, I think we can offer them better swap terms in a couple of days. I don't like the look of the market. Say, after the 6th. Really? You've spoken to her about this? Sort of. Well, that's funny, because I tried calling you there an hour ago, and she hadn't seen you. Really? You've been talking to Dominic again, haven't you? What makes you think that? 
It might be better after the sixth. Come on, what's going to be different after the sixth? I'll tell you what's going to be different. Some goddamn planet's going to be somewhere else. That's what. There is an unfriendly square, yes. <laughs> you have been talking to Dominic again. God damn it, Max, you promised. No more astrology. Max, we nearly blew the Gruppo deal because Dominic said Mercury was in the wrong place. Saturn. Max! You promised. Anyhow, the Gruppo deal came right in the end. This is a proven method of predicting movements on the financial markets. People in Wall Street have been using astrology for years. Terrific. I want nothing more to do with it. You call Pia and you tell her we're not going to the sixth. I'm going home. Max, I need your help on the Euro Europe deal. I think we might need to consider a swap. You're managing the deal? If we get it, yes. Congratulations. Can we um, talk about it in the morning? I'm a little busy now. All right. First thing, okay? Great. Is Pia there? It's unusual. Senegal. My name's Stefan. Sirka. More unusual. Not as unusual as finding a beautiful woman sitting alone in a bar. I often dream here. You work in the city? Yes. What do you do? I'm in service business, working with people in the financial markets. Interesting. I enjoy it. What about you? I work for the Swiss Trade Commission. In London? Zurich. Mm. In London as well. Really? Before to me to ask you to join me for dinner. Is there someone? I don't think you understand. I'm expensive. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Five hundred pounds. Oh, I see. I must say, it's a particularly good conversion. Some of these older buildings have been carved up dreadfully. It's a particularly depressing conversion. Room. Yes. Could be the study. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. And a wonderful aspect, of course. Mm. Bath. Shower. Bidet. You'll get mad in here. Is that a railway line out there? Double glazing. Wow. I like it. I really do. So, you didn't like it? Well, you have to live there. You really didn't like it, huh? I found it depressing. I found the neighborhood depressing. I think the ride to and fro will be, um, depressing. I like it. I think it has possibilities. Believe me, it doesn't. And you're tying up a lot of capital. No, I'm not. I'm getting a 90% mortgage from the bank at a favorable rate. Well, I just 
wish you'd think about it. I have. Anyhow, I don't have to live there. I can always rent it out. That's right. Rent it out. Come and live with me. You could have your own floor. That <laughs> used to be a room. Now I'm offering you a whole floor. You should grab it while you can. <laughs> Should we have a drink? Uh, no, I have to work. I have to get some figures organized for Leonard. The Avril thing? Yeah, it's really very important to me. Well, yeah, it's great you're doing that. Leonard's really got a lot of faith in you, you know? Do you think so? Of course he does. Good. You don't want me to come up? Help you get ready for bed? No, I think I can manage on my own, Declan. I have been doing it all my life. Exactly. You should never let these things become a habit. Uh -huh. Good night. Thanks for the pizza. Lovely material, Circa. Thank you, Billy. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs> Back rub? Body massage? No, thanks. Here, Nah. Right, then. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, you got our system, Circa. I'd love to know it. Have I seen this suit before, Charles? No, it's new. You look good in it. Huh. Thanks. It's okay. Max, have you spoken to Pierre yet? Yes, we agreed the seven. That's all right. You're very persuasive. As long as the customers are happy. Because the customer's always right, right? Absolutely. But I mean this, Max. From now on, please, please, no more of this astrology junk. Okay. Morning, guys. Listen, I'm organizing a party for Hannah's birthday. Oh, when is it? Uh, tomorrow. Sure, what are you doing? Lunch at Bill's. You want to come, yeah? Yeah. Great. Oh, uh, uh, and uh, don't say anything. It's a surprise, yeah? Okay. Hannah's a Virgo. Interesting. Avro's in good shape. The market's interested. But I have to be discreet. I'm only talking to people I know at this stage. I don't want them going after the deal themselves. And you're confident you can make it by the week's end? Well, the message I get from the market says that we can find underwriters for 100 million immediately. The secondary desk can get some away also. I'm sure we can place it all by Friday. Hmm. I want to avoid a situation like that 10-year floater we managed for Lyle Marcus. We had to absorb 60 million of the issue to encourage the syndicate to move. We can't afford to do that right now. We won't have to. I'm sure of it. Morning. Ah, uh, Max, we need to be looking at a 30% dollar swap for the Euro Europe. Right. Can I leave it with you? Fine. Great. Where's your principal place of operation? When were they incorporated? Uh, Rotterdam. I'll have to get back to you on the other. I need that. Corporations are like people, Max. I have to know all the planetary influences that play upon them. Right, right, I'll get on to it. And uh, Dominic, I'll call you, all right? Hi, Max. Oh, hi. Mm. 
Want to hear your horoscope, Jenna? Hello, Rudolf. Who in Zitsu? We're handling an issue for a pharmaceutical company. Would you be interested? I'd say around 50 million. Yeah. Wendy. Hiya. Yeah. You want to come for lunch tomorrow? Hannah's birthday. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, I thought we'd take it to Bells. Lovely idea. Excellent. Oh, oh and you will say anything. It's a surprise. Of course you will. I'm so busy, I thought I'd deliver you lunch. Oh, welcome, thank you. Have you thought any more about the flat? Oh, yes, I've made an offer. Oh. They're getting back to me as soon as they've spoken to the vendor. Well, can you at least try and find something in an area that's a little less gloomy? I like it up there. It reminds me of Frankfurt. Shane Dealers. You did what? Yes. So what? It was fantastic. No involvement, no emotions, no commitment. None of that garbage. He enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Circa. I can't believe you did that. And it was exciting being paid for it. I'm telling you, it made me feel fantastic. Listen, listen to me. You don't know this man. You can't go sleeping with people you've met for six minutes. Oh, I know what you're thinking. It's fine. He used the thing, you know. Hannah, don't tell me you've never had this fantasy. <laughs> Have you asked yourself why you're doing this? Hannah, what are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm going home. I'm probably going to get some supper for Ryan. Probably Exactly. Watching. You're going to do tonight what you did last night and the night before. I was going to go home last night, probably with something to stick in the microwave oven. Then I thought, I really don't have to do this. Here is something different. And it can be different as often as I want it to be. Being a part-time hooker isn't going to make you happy, Sirka. Who said anything about being happy? We can bring the issue to the market by the 15th. This is interesting. I like the way you have it structured. As BX is a dollar earning company, it would be useful to swap some of the issue into US dollars. I anticipate that you'd want to do that. We've arranged for 30% of the issue to be convertible bonds. Really? That's really very good. Was that uh, Leonard's suggestion? My suggestion. Yes? He said you were very capable. He said you were on loan from uh, Shane's Frankfurt office. When are you going back? Well, they brought me over for a month, the year before last, but I'm still here, so... You must like it here. Yes. Actually, I'm buying a flat. The bank have been subsidizing me in a hotel since I arrived. They must regard you as a considerable asset. I think perhaps they've forgotten their footing the bill. So, better get a move on on this. It's really very competitive. As you know, other people are tendering for the issue as well. But between you and me, I'm leaning towards Shane.
Thanks, Lubin. This is Dominic. Dominic, I said I'd call you. I'm sorry, Matt. This is very important. I've been looking at this company's planetary lineup, and they've run into something very alarming. Uh huh. Uh, like what? Well, there are indications of a major crisis ahead for this corporation. Um, of what sort of nature? Uh, can you be more specific? Something that could seriously undermine the credibility of the company and the value of its stock. Oh, no, really? Um, uh, this is very interesting. Can I get back to you in a few minutes, uh, Howard? Howard? Uh, yeah, I've just got to check on something. Thanks. Get some uh, coffee. Okay. This is Stefan. How did you get this number? That's not really important. Forgive me for bothering you at work, but uh, I had to speak to you, Sergei. I'd very much like to see you again. Look, it doesn't work like this. I don't think you understand. I'm trying to understand. That's why I want to meet you. I enjoyed very much being with you. I felt that you enjoyed being with me. Would it harm just to talk to each other? That really isn't possible. You've met me once. It was good, so okay. Don't read anything else into it. Last night... You just have to forget last night, all right? I don't want to forget. Couldn't I at least meet you for a drink? Look, just please don't call me again, all right? Max, are you serious? You're telling me to hold off on this deal because some, some psychic told you to? No, no. He's not a psychic. He's a very eminent astrologer. And he's got some very eminent clients. And he's very accurate. Look, there are subtle planetary cycles which govern movements on the financial markets, just as there are cycles which affect harvests, weather, people's behavior. Respected Wall Street companies have been using astrology for years. Really? Yeah. Now. Dominic has noticed that Avro Europe is currently being influenced by transiting Neptune. At the moment, it's squaring natal Saturn. This will result almost without question in some sort of collapse in the company's integrity. Max? If Shane get the mandate and there's a collapse of Avro's stock, the bank could be sitting on a huge liability. No, I know this deal is important to you. You don't think I'd make this sort of suggestion without some degree of certainty, do you? I've looked at this very carefully. Max, I'm sure you have. And Actually, it's really very interesting, but I'm not going to suggest to Leonard that we hold off on the deal on the basis of some astrological predictions, okay? Anyway, you're gonna have to excuse me. I have a dinner date. Michelle, don't even give it a second thought. I mean, you're not, are you? There might be something in what he's saying, supposing there is. Please, come on. You're an intelligent woman. You're being given a major issue to handle all on your own. This is your chance. Don't let Max throw you off course with some astrological mumbo-jumbo. He says he's consulted Dominic on every issue he's run this year. Yeah. And next month, it'll be soothsayers or witch doctors. Look, why do you think they call him Mad Max? I'm just telling you what he said. You want me to share things with you, don't you? Well, of course I do. I just don't want you to blow this deal. That's all.
I don't feel so well. No? Really. You do. I'm Carl Monroe. Sirka. Oh, Sirka. You staying in the hotel? That depends on who I'm talking to. Well, I'm very pleased that you're talking to me. Oh, Declan, why did you let me drink red wine? I never drink red wine. You asked for red wine. Can I get you anything? Um, some mineral water. Would you like me to tell you a story? Yes. And what's it going to be about? Well, it's about... Um, it's about this beautiful young girl who doesn't realize she's in love with her best friend. And how does it end? Well... How serious is this, Doctor? Abra Europe's Saturn is squared by transiting Neptune, 12 degrees Capricorn. How serious do you want to get? I know this is very important to your friend. It's her first major deal. She's put a lot of work into it. Can we at least predict the type of event? Only the dimensions. Big and bad. I don't want this to blow up in her face. She's got a lot riding on it. And we need to be more specific. How long are you staying in London? Just three days. And Vienna, and then Milan. That's the avionics business. Keeps you on the move. It's very competitive, I know. You know the market? Oh, a little. Only what I read. Well, if you want to stay competitive in the airline business, you've got to stay on your toes. It's rather more than we agreed. Twice what we agreed, in fact. I don't understand. Excuse me. Sirka, this is Bob Eisenstadt. Hello, Sirka. Hello. So? Look, guys. I don't play doubles. Is that an absolute rule? Yes. Well, rules are made to be broken. Not in my case. Serka, if it's money. It isn't money. Look. I'm sure we can work something out. We'd very much like you to stay. I want to leave. It's fine with us if you want to call the shots. No, this isn't for me, sorry.
couple of messages. Must be a fan. Called once last night and twice this morning. If ever calls again, I'm out. Oh, Max, thank you. Happy birthday. It's really unusual. Actually, it's very interesting. Um, apparently, our astrological signs correspond to aspects of our physical being. Uh -huh. For example, Virgos are frequently deficient in silicon, so you should eat plenty of cucumbers. Cucumbers? Mm. I see. We got the mandate. You got the mandate. Really? I just spoke to Joaquin. Great. Congratulations. Thanks. So, we have to get moving, Michelle. You need to firm the syndicate. Send out the faxes, get the secretary desk moving. I don't want to be holding on to any of that 70 million longer than we have to. Right. Leonard. Mm hmm? Love the shirt. Oh, great, isn't it? I found it in a trunk. Figured, well, why not? <laughs> We're on. We've got it. I've got you down for 25 million. Okay, we're sending the telexes out now, so you'll get confirmation this afternoon, I should think. Yeah? Okay, great. Thank you. Hector, you're in for 50 million, aren't you? Right. Yeah. Thank you. Just a second. Okay, well, how soon do you need confirmation? We're sending out the telexes right away. Thanks, Hector. So, the secondary desk will be handling 70 million of the Apple issue. Maturing December 1996, you'll be able to get rid of it, won't you? We'll be delighted. Did you enjoy the story last night? Yes, it was cute. A bit fantastic, perhaps. What, you mean the bit about the castle on the Rhine and living happily ever after? Yes, that's the bit. Well, I know, but you have to dress these stories up. I mean, it may not actually end up like that. I mean, they might end up living somewhere else. Anyhow, well done. I'll go and sell these 70 million Avros, maturing December 96, issued at 101, coupons eight and a quarter. Is that correct? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, Max. I hope you didn't mind me talking to you last night. Oh, of course not. It's really very interesting. But the way the market's responding today, I don't think the Apple deal is in any jeopardy. No, I guess not. You coming to Hannah's birthday party? I may be too busy, but I'll try. By the way, when's your birthday? Uh, March 25th, Aries. You don't happen to know what time of day you were born, were you? Not many people do. 8.15 in the morning. Stuttgart, wasn't it? Frankfurt. That's right. Grass vodka. It's kind of unusual. That's very unusual. I've never heard of it. Very powerful, so watch it. I shall. Silka, thanks very much. Hannah, how old is Michelle? Uh, when was she born? Oh, God, Max. Um, she's 24 this year, so. 1965, right. 1965. The deal is dead in the water. Take my advice, don't touch it. Mm. I thought it would have faded up overnight. Didn't happen? Okay. Good luck. Bye. Here. Why don't you put it in water? Anna! Happy birthday. Thanks, Leonard. Must be great to be a teenager. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, I love the shirt. Are you reliving your youth as well? Great, isn't it? Found it in a trunk. Figured, why not? <laughs> That's unfair. How can you do that? I made an offer. We agreed the price. How can you come back and up it? But I... I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll get back to you. Goodbye. 
What? Bloody estate agent. I made an offer on a flat, which they accepted. Now they come back and say that someone else will pay £3,000 more. How can they do that? It's called gazumping. It's incredible. In Germany, it would be illegal. In Germany, it is illegal. We've raised 300 million for Avro. I need to know your underwriting position. Uh, we've confirmed responses for the syndicate for 230 million. I'm not expecting any more. Well done. That leaves the secondary desk trying to get away 70 million. 20 million more than we would have wished, but still. Well, I'll get on to it right away. Declan, Chas. Excuse me, Leonard. That's a terrific shirt. Do you mind me asking where you got it? <laughs> I think you mean when. lunch out for years. To hell with it. Why not? OK, Max, listen, I'm going to the restaurant now. Hudson's going to bring Hanover in about 15 minutes. Yep. Uh, maybe you can round up all the others. Right. You know, didn't ask Leonard. I think he'd be offended. Of course not. Leonard can never sit still in restaurants anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. OK, I'll see you in a minute. Ask Michelle how much of the Avro paper we've still got. Well, what's wrong? Quick! Why not? Ten minutes ago, you were hot to trot. Hey? Oh, no. How much are you still holding? We're still holding 60 million. Yeah, 60 million. What the hell is going on? Avro's just dropped five points. Just the beginning. Can I get you another drink, sir? Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? While I'm waiting. They knew this. They must have. Of course they knew. I bet they did. Joaquin was probably putting on pressure to complete this week so that he could take over BAX before this bloody case happened. If only we'd known about this. What's our position? We're still holding 60 million. Trading stopped. Hey, what the hell's going on? I've been sitting here half an hour. Where's everyone? Wait a minute, where's Hannah? I think you better have a drink, old buddy. Nobody's coming. What do you mean? One, the Avro deal took a hit and the price has fallen like a brick. And two, Hannah went out for lunch. What? Well, why? She, she didn't say anything. She apparently told the settlement's desk. No way. She never goes out for lunch. She hasn't been out in, since I joined. Her husband surprised her. Oh, God. I don't believe this. It's just a nasty coincidence, Max. I could ask Dominic to check out Avro's prospects in, say, two months. Max. Michelle. We have to evaluate the situation. You're running the deal. I'm only suggesting that you acquaint yourself with all the angles. Are you suggesting that Dominic can determine what Avro's fortunes will be two months from now? He's been right about everything else this week. Oh, and by the way, I did your chart. It's a very bad time for you to be looking at property. Max, I've had enough of this astrological rubbish, OK? That's right, Dominic. Their stock dropped seven points in an hour. It's an environmental issue. The market's very edgy. You ask for my advice, I provided it. 
Circumstances here made it difficult to implement your advice, Dominic. Can you look at Avro's situation, say, eight weeks hence? If you wish. This is very important to us, Dominic. Can we get back to you in half an hour? Very well, Max. I'll look into it. Thanks. He's really very good. Do you remember that German treasury deal of mine you so admired? Yeah. Dominic told me what to do every step of the way. You're kidding. So, when's your birthday, Hudson? Uh, February. I'm a Pisces. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Leo. July 29th. Are you, um... You don't really believe in all that astrology stuff, do you? Yeah. Now, look at the bright side. At least you got your new place to look forward I'm to. I'm not buying it. Oh, no, why not? Because they tried to gazump me for 3,000 pounds. I told them to go and stuff themselves. What three grand? I thought you wanted it. It's the principal, Declan. And besides, Max did my chart. Apparently, it's a bad time for double areas to be looking at property. Well, there you are. You did the right thing. Max is very sound and all that stuff. Oh, really? That was not your opinion the other night. Michelle! Uh, excuse me. Yes? Saka, there's someone called Stephanie here to see you. What? After October the 22nd, the Sun-Uranus conjunction means greater initiative for corporate enterprise. It also instigates a major third world event which draws attention away from the European arena. By then, the Avro chemical dumping issue will be all tart. The facts will have become obscure. Now, Dominic says that the composite chart for Avro BAX looks a dead cert that the Avro takeover is a success. That means that by mid-February, their stock will be back on and will be out of the woods with a profit. Dominic has made very precise calculations. All right, all right, Max. OK, supposing Dominic is accurate, we still have to couch this in some orthodox language. You have to dress these stories up, Max. You didn't return my calls. What did you expect me to do? I still don't understand how you found me here. I have to admit, I took a card from your wallet while she was sleeping. That was wrong of me, of course, but I knew I wanted to see you again. You have no right coming here. I apologize if it causes you any embarrassment. But you can appreciate my surprise when I discovered you employed in a bank. Why is that so surprising? Because... Because the other night, you represented yourself as someone else entirely. Sometimes it is necessary to be someone else entirely. Yes, maybe. But must that preclude you and I seeing each other? I know we enjoyed being together. You're a nice guy. Believe me, you'll be getting into something you would regret. I'm sure I wouldn't regret it, Circa. And you've mentioned nothing that would seem to prevent our being together. Is there anything? Yes. OK? There is. Me. I don't do well in relationships. OK? We anticipate a polarization of the market and a major upswing in Avro's market position. Within eight weeks, we forecast a 10-point recovery in Avro's stock. So all we have to do is tough it out till then. Of course, we may get a little flack from upstairs. I resent being set up. Well, yes, of course. But what we're saying is, if we hang tough, we may not be looking at any downside at all. And what do you base this view on? Well, Michelle and I have made a careful examination of all the trends surrounding Avro Europe. Well, the chemical dumping is an important issue. But what's significant is that it's just an environmental issue. So it's going to be fashionable for a while to dump Evro stock. The fine is merely a rap on the knuckles, but Evro stock will be back. The BAX takeover will ensure that. In fact, if we sit the situation out, we may well be looking at more profit than if we'd shifted all the paper today. I'm sorry, Michelle, that you got caught up in all this.
All right. We'll tough it out. You know, it's a real shame you couldn't join Chaz and me for lunch. We actually had quite a nice time. Now, there was work to do. Oh, yeah. Um, what, what, what's, uh, what's up with the Avro deal? Well, we reckon that the market will return in about eight weeks, given Avro's buoyant state prior to the court case, and the fact that the BAX takeover looks pretty rosy. Was Leonard by that? I mean, it's pretty sore at having been set up, but uh, yes, he's prepared to top it up. Good. Glad to see you can still make market judgments without consulting the Oracle. Actually, Dominic has been advising this deal from day one, step by step. <laughs> Max, I love your sense of humor.